Farmers 2,000 years ago uh, put holes in bottoms of plates, put them on a bowl of water and let them slowly sink in, into the, the bowl of water. So uh, they used this as a timer when they were irrigating their fields, they would divert the flow of streams and rivers based on the time that the plate uh, sunk in the water. And this was a pretty accurate timer. I'm not using the plate. And instead of the plate um, uh, uh, filling and falling to the bottom, it never falls to the bottom because there's a hole in the plate in a tube that goes down and out. Now, uh, I've done this before, but I had something heavier than, there it goes down again, something heavier than, than water. So I had, uh, let me see, and this lifts up. And there's the hole where, where the water enters in, in this side here. And there's the hole where it leaves. And because this is slightly lighter than water, this is low density plastic. If you push it down, it uh, slowly comes back to the top. And then uh, as soon as it gets to the very top, it empties pretty quickly. And uh, so, it's, it's a floating plate that never falls to the bottom. And the water is coming in through this tiny little hole here. And if you want more water, you just build, uh, make a bigger hole. And I work out, uh, so, uh, what was it, 10 cc in, in uh, what's oh, four minutes. So it's, it's quite slow. And, um, so it means that this whole bucket of water can be emptied out over a good long period of time. And the value of that is that um, you can water plants that need only a small amount of water uh, through the day. Because you could throw this water on a plant or on a row of plants and after uh, an hour, an hour and a half, they're completely bone dry again. But if you were to let it into something that tips out periodically, then not only are you watering a bigger area of ground and fairly constantly, you're also um, uh, um, keeping the plants much, much happier because they're getting water um, pretty much all the time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a thing like a boar scare which will fill and tip over when it's a certain amount full and it's going to tip into a little pipe that's going to water uh, four, four or five plants. And so and this is just for demonstration just uh, something that you can make yourself and it's pretty simple. And I'll make, it, I'll make it better over time. I'll make it much better over time. There we go. As you can see, it's moving. And it empties. So, uh, I just got to measure the amount that it takes. I may have to use something bigger. But then, what I do is I put a little something here to take the water to my plants. So, um, <clears throat> I've changed things around a bit, I've cut a little off of this. Uh, I discovered that unlike last time I used it, last lid, and there was a metal piece around the hole that was in it. So unfortunately this plastic is hydrophobic, and uh, I'll have to, right now I'm just using a piece of uh, twig to allow the water to, to drip down. Uh, at a reasonable rate but uh, prior to that you could widen the hole from what was before until um, 1 8 uh, the, ho the hole is about 1 8 now or slightly more um, 5 30 seconds of an inch uh, diameter and the inside here 
and it wasn't making much difference because the plastic is so hydrophobic to water that the water wasn't coming in easily the, the um, plastic was kind of repelling it so but here's how much is dripping now so that's this bucket would empty over the course of about eight hours with the speed of drip I measure it with this guy here and it's 19, 19 liter um, 19 liter can so um, that means uh, I'll also be able to tell the, uh, the amount that uh, this is tipping out when it tips out but uh, so this is just watering currently for um, squashes and beside each squash there's a place where the water comes out little hole and you can see here and they're all working so that's good and here's the hole there and there's a hole on this one I'm not sure exactly where it is I can't see but there's probably a bit too here we go so water has been dropped in so I don't know how quickly it comes out the hole there we go starting to drip out and starting to drip out here here and with the reached area there's the hole there I have to lift this up to see it there it's dripping out here too so it works but um, probably a um, <clears throat> this probably needs to be bigger so that we get a bigger amount each time and that, that way we could do more plants we, can, we could probably do five or six holes in it right now but if, if it's a bigger load each time then it could probably do more plants and what else yeah so i've just got to show you this so once i take this off the hydrophobic effect comes into play and you can probably see how much you slow down just from taking this little twig away from the hole put back to the hole and look at that so Got to figure that out. Don't know if I can. But uh, yeah, so once you figure that out, it'll be uh, better for sure. And I'll probably just take it off the hole now because I think there's, with the slow amount, there's probably plenty of water. This is my latest improvement to the um, little uh, tipper thing and uh, so we have just a, a screw here so that this doesn't uh, you know, move too much that direction so um, we have a screw behind here so it doesn't rub against the wood because rubbing against the wood um, just uh, makes it less easy to move back and forth so um, yeah we're gradually getting to better kind of normal and uh, things are going good in here